approximately maybe 100 to 150 nights a year. I love to perform, I love to travel. My boys, my family here, and we have adventures everywhere we go. <laughs> yeah, I enjoy every bit of it. The original doctor that I had jumped up on the, on the bed beside me and said, man, you got cancer. I said, I said what, what did you say? <laughs> this record is different. It's a totally different experience from the rest of the albums that we've done. It's like a reflection on, on the illness that he had. Could not love you anymore. I'm Wendell Holmes of the Holmes Brothers, and I play the guitar and sometimes the keyboards. And I'm Sherman Holmes. I play bass and occasionally piano. Sing a little for the Holmes Brothers. Hi, I'm Pop C. Dixon, drummer and singer. And my name is Joan Osborne, and I sing and write songs and also produced a record for the Holmes Brothers. The Holmes Brothers have, have been together since 1978, I do believe. Of course, my brother and I have been playing together all of our lives, off and on, and um, Mr. Dixon has been with us since 1967. We, we started together with another group. So it's been a long haul, but a good one. We're just like my blood family. Ever since we were kids, we used to play games like play a nightclub and we'd get the brooms and everything. And sometimes we go there and I tell Wendy, I say, man, we're gonna play nightclub tonight. <laughs> but it's like a way of life, it's not a career so much as how we live. We're from the South, we're from Virginia, and we're from a generation of listening to a lot of Hank Williams because of the wattage on the black stations. We didn't have a lot of wattage, so we could be listening to Jimmy Reed and all of a sudden, bam, here comes Hank Williams with 100,000 watts. So. Our genres are uh, blues, country, gospel, and rhythm and blues. I really don't think there's a lot of difference between them. They all are, I call it American roots music. Yeah, I first met the Holmes when, uh, I guess it was in the 1980s. <laughs> I had just kind of discovered the music scene that was happening in New York City at that time. From the very beginning, I was just really taken with the range of what they could do. They would rock the place and have everybody dancing and sweating and screaming one minute and then they just lay you out with a gorgeous gospel song with beautiful harmonies stacked on top of each other and then they'd go into a Hank Williams song or some other country song and play that beautifully with so much emotion and so much feeling. So you try to cover the, cover the water flow. But I needed forgiving You gave me the strength baby to keep right on living you feed my soul. First, this record is different because of the originality of the songs. Uh, being ill gave me time to write more songs than I usually do. I found that there was a quality to the songwriting that had a real depth and a real richness. And, and these were people who had a lot of soul and a lot of depth and richness to begin with. But there was even, even a, a further and a deeper level to what they were communicating. But I think a lot of it is, is, is like a reflection on, on the illness that he had. I was diagnosed with bladder ca cancer, uh, so I went through the chemo, I went through the radiation. And during that time, I realized how short life is, uh, even if you uh, live a long time. It made me become aware of being helpless, nothing I could do to help my brother, you know. It took, took a lot from me, but I just had to pray and hope he'd be all right. And one of the songs on the new album is called Fairweather Friend. When I was down and out, did not, a friend that I thought would be there with me did not show. And there were other people that I thought that wouldn't be there were there. One line is, uh, when I was at the end of my rope, you left me there to hang. I sat by the phone, but the phone never rang. The cancer experience uh, opened my eyes to uh, uh, what real friendship is. You know, I was a little bit worried that maybe they wouldn't have the strength that they had had years ago. Uh, Got to put my foot down, hold my head up, tired of drinking from this bittersweet cup. I just recall sitting in the control room and listening to them sing and just be like, wow, these guys are better than they ever have been. And it was, it was really, really moving for me, to having known them for so long. It's definitely a legacy album. I don't like the word legacy too much. That, that, that's, that's like, for instance, you're on your way, you know. I know we, we, <laughs> but I, I think it is an album of legacy and an album of hope. I just love it. 
<laughs> it's been one of my greatest musical experiences, bo both times that we have made records together, but this time in particular, I think you don't know that it's uh, that you're going to be able to do it again. You know, life is short, so it's, it's very precious to be able to have this time together. Forever, my darling. Our love will be true Always and forever I'll love only you Do, 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 boom! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah.